Hey friends, Ash here with Gin Sense, and today I'm going over with you guys 10 inexpensive fragrances that you could use as an alternative to this one right here, Creed Aventus. So yeah, that means we're talking about Creed clones for the most part today. Yeah, the ever popular Creed clone video. So in this video, I'm gonna quickly run through a bunch of different fragrances that you could use as an alternative to this one, basically scents that are gonna give you a similar scent profile, similar vibe to Creed's Aventus. But each one of these fragrances is going to be under $50 US, which obviously is much, 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 much more affordable than Creed Aventus, especially if we're talking about retail prices. So let's go ahead and jump into this and start talking about some Creed Aventus alternatives. So the entire reason that I'm doing this video, other than just letting you guys know some cheap Aventus alternatives, is I have a still sealed bottle of one of these fragrances that I wanted to give away, and I wanted to do a video that it made sense to give it away in. So I actually placed an order for two bottles of one of these, and when I get to that fragrance, I'll let you know what it is. And uh, it's just been sitting there, unopened, for months now. So stick around for that giveaway. When I get to that fragrance, I'll let you guys know about it, and you can enter the giveaway, and one of you will win it. First off, before we start talking about the alternatives, I will say that for me, I would just rather wear Creed Aventus. And I know that's easy for me to say considering I already own it and not everybody has the money right now to pony up for a bottle of Aventus. There are some other ways you could go about this instead of getting alternative fragrances. If you wanted to, you could just buy a decant of Creed Aventus, which is where somebody takes their bottle of Aventus or flacon of Aventus, puts it into smaller bottles, labels it, and then sells it on. You can buy those on Facebook groups such as Fragrance Swap, or you could go onto eBay even and buy decants from people there. Or you could use a website like the Fragrance Decant Boutique and buy decants of Aventus on there. So just wanted to throw that out there. You could take, you know, the 30, 40, 50 bucks that you were going to spend on an Aventus alternative and just buy a decant of Aventus. Of course, not everybody likes to go that route. Lots of people would rather just have a full size bottle of another fragrance that's going to give you a similar vibe to this one. And some people actually seem to prefer some of the alternatives or clones to the real deal. And also there are a couple that I'm not gonna talk about here. I'll just run through a couple really quickly. Glenn Perry, Unpredictable Adventure. That one was one of the first Aventus clones that really got talked about. That one used to be very inexpensive. I think it was about 20 bucks. Really though, that one to me is not really a high quality alternative. Kind of sucks to be honest. And all the fragrances I'm gonna talk about here today are better than that one. Then there's also a fragrance called Fashion District, which I actually reviewed years ago. That one you can find pretty easily on eBay for under 20 bucks, usually about $17. Packaging on that fragrance, cheap. Feels very cheap, looks cheap. The cap is a flimsy plastic. It doesn't look good. And that one is not bad for the price, you know, cause it's under 20 bucks. But I feel like the other ones I'm gonna talk about here today are better than that one. So that one's kind of getting left out in the cold. All right, let's jump into this one with a fragrance that's not really a clone. And this is one that I do consider more an alternative than a clone. It's this one, Mont Blanc Explorer. You can pick this up for about 50 bucks from discounters. It's got Aki Gollawood, Vetiver, Pink Pepper, Bergamot, and Ambroxan as some of the notes in the fragrance. This one obviously is a designer fragrance from the house of Mont Blanc. It is not a fragrance that's released from a known clone house. You know, your things like Armaf or Afnan or uh, uh, Alharamain, uh, things like that. This one is a modern, fresh designer take on Aventus. It's got nice peeling modern woods in here, uh, pops of spice and fruit, easily wearable, a fragrance that has grown on me over time and very, very versatile big compliment puller as well. This one would probably be my personal choice of the fragrances that I'm going to feature as far as what I would wear out of the bunch. As I said, when I wanna wear Aventus, typically I'm just gonna wear Aventus, but this one does give you a little bit of a twist. It, it takes Aventus, it just kind of simplifies it, freshens it up, modernizes it, and it's, uh, it's pleasant. All right, after that, we're gonna talk about the most popular 
Creed Aventus clone or alternative fragrance. And it's this one right here, Club de Nuit Intense Man by Our Moth. And this one has apparently changed. When this first came out, it was in Eau de Toilette. Now they have Club de Nuit Intense Man Eau de Parfum. And they also have Club de Nuit Intense Man Limited Edition, which is also an Eau de Parfum. But the Club de Nuit Intense Man Limited Edition Eau de Parfum is different than just Club de Nuit Intense Eau de Parfum. I know that seems maybe a little confusing, so we'll just simplify it. Club de Nuit Intense Man Eau de Toilette and Club de Nuit Intense Man Eau de Parfum are the same fragrance, essentially. And then you also have Club de Nuit Intense Man Limited Edition, which is an Eau de Parfum, and that is different than the original Club de Nuit Intense Man. Lemon, birch, pineapple, black currant, and musk, some of the notes in this fragrance. And should mention to you guys, you're gonna hear a lot of the same notes in each one of these fragrances, obviously, because they're all in the same style. You can pick up the original Club de Nuit Intense Man for about 30 bucks, typically. The limited edition is gonna push it up closer to 50. And some places will try to overcharge you. So if you see the limited edition on eBay or something like that for 70, 80 bucks, don't do it. You're being overcharged. So this one has a rough opening. It comes across harsh, lemony. Uh, some people have compared it to like lemon floor cleaner. It will grow on you over time, most likely, if you wear it for a long time, if you give it multiple wearings. But if you've never smelled it, the first time that you do smell it, you may think, ugh, not good, at least in the opening. When this dries down, it does get smokier, and that's the part that almost everybody universally likes more, is the dry down. The opening, not so much. It's got really good performance, big compliment puller, and like I said, the most popular of the Creed Aventus alternatives. The limited edition, if you can get your hands on that for a good price, is in my opinion better than the original just because it smooths everything out a bit. But either way, this one, very popular and for a good reason. It's a compliment puller, last all day, last all night. Next up, let's talk about this one, Mercedes-Benz Select. So this is a fragrance like Mont Blanc that is not from a, a clone house and it's not a direct clone of Aventus, but when you smell it, you can smell that it's been inspired by Aventus. Mercedes-Benz Select has notes of Ambroxan, Bergamot, uh, musk, black currant, and apple. This one is like a fruity take on the Aventus DNA. You're not gonna find smoke here. So this one basically takes Ambroxan and musk, uses that instead of leather or birch or woods. So that's why there's no smokiness here. It is another kind of modern take on the Aventus DNA, concentrating more on sweet and fruity aspects of the fragrance. Technically, there is no pineapple, in this fragrance, but the bergamot that's used can give you a similar vibe to the uh, the pineapple. And you'll actually see that in a lot of different Aventus style fragrances. They won't have pineapple as a note, but they'll have bergamot. And the way the bergamot is used comes across very juicy, very fresh, and can remind you a little bit of pineapple. And that's what happens here. Next up is a fragrance that I don't own anymore. There are actually a few on this list that I no longer own. I've gifted them to somebody else. And this one is from English Laundry and it is called London. This fragrance I originally bought for $15 at my local TJ Maxx. Uh, with everything that's going on right now, probably not gonna be able to go to your local TJ Maxx, Ross or Marshalls and try to scope out you know, the store and see if they've got it in stock since they're closed right now, <laughs> but it is still an affordable Aventus alternative fragrance that's worth checking out. Sometimes at discounters, you can find this one in the like $20, $25 range, but at some discounters, this one goes for like over 50 bucks. And at that price, it's a hard pass. You shouldn't pay that much for any English laundry fragrance realistically. It has pineapple, juniper, oak moss, and blackberry as some of the notes in the fragrance. And this one does switch up that Aventus DNA a little bit with that blackberry. So it's gonna give you a little bit of a tartness to the fruitiness in the fragrance, which you're not gonna find in the other Aventus style fragrances that focus more on the pineapple, apple, and bergamot. This one does not get smokiness from birch as a note, it actually gets it from oak moss. So that's another difference that you're going to find there. Quality on it is pretty good, especially if you can pick it up for 15 to 20 bucks. 
The performance though, not great. A lot of times Aventus alternatives will have very good performance, but this one, a little bit on the weaker side. Next up, let's talk about this one, All Dur All Maknoon by Latafa Perfumes. Latafa Perfumes, probably most well known for Rogba. Rogba is a fragrance that is similar to 24 Gold by Scent Story. It's gonna be an ambery, sweet, vanillic, kind of uh, woody, oody fragrance. This one though, Aventus Alternative. Probably noticing the cap, it's got kind of a similarity to the Club Denui Intense Cap. Actually, a very obvious similarity. The cap is actually about the exact same as Club de Nuit Intense Man's cap. Difference is this one does not have the little crystals in there. It just has an indentation where the crystal would go. And then it has this uh, flimsy charm right here, which actually is something it has in similar with Club de Nuit Intense Man as well. Only this one is glued onto the bottle originally, whereas this charm just dangles freely. Pineapple, birch, bergamot, musk, and leather are some of the notes in this fragrance. And this is one that doesn't really get talked about as much on uh, Facebook groups, forums, and all that stuff as compared to Club de Nuit, Intense Man, Laventure, and some of the other big Aventus clones. This one has a citrusy, fresh pineapple opening, dries down to feature leather and birch with a bit of smokiness. And I do think quality-wise that this one is right up there with some of the bigger Aventus clones, even though it doesn't really get talked about. Next up is a heavy hitter in the Aventus clone arena. It's this one, Laventure by All Haramein. Yes, the fingerprint magnet bottle. It's got lemon, bergamot, elemi, musk, and woods, some of the notes in the fragrance. And this one is probably in the top three as far as most talked about inexpensive alternatives to Aventus. Laventure does not have the rough opening that Club de Nuit Intense Man does. It's a sweeter fragrance, a sweeter take on Aventus, and the smokiness here is dialed down compared to Club de Nuit Intense Man as well. Like Club de Nuit Intense Man, it's got good performance, lasts a long time, projects heavily, and actually there's now a Laventure Intense version of the fragrance, but I've not smelled that yet. To me, this one is going to get you closer to just trying to emulate a modern batch of Aventus than Club de Nuit Intense Man is. Club de Nuit Intense Man does its own thing. Is it ultimately an Aventus clone style fragrance? Yeah, Club de Nuit Intense Man is. But it does, you know, its own thing with the opening. Definitely doesn't smell like Aventus there with that kind of harsh lemon. As it dries down, it gets a lot closer to Aventus, but it still is doing its own thing. Laventure is gonna get you closer to actual Aventus. Now, am I saying it's the same quality or on the same level as Creed Aventus? No but Laventure is trying to get you there. Next up is one of the very first Creed Aventus clones that I ever bought, and it's this one, Insurrection Pure 2 by Rayan Tradition. This one has a great presentation in my opinion, especially when you consider the price on this one. This one is gonna run you about 20 bucks, so not very much. This is a fresher, fruitier take on Aventus. Not gonna get a whole lot of smoke out of Insurrection Pure 2, really very little at all. It's got pineapple, apple, uh, bergamot, vanilla, and birch as some of the notes in the scent. This one's more musky than it is smoky. There is a bit of birch in here, but as I just said before, you're not gonna get a heavily smoked Aventus style fragrance out of this one. This one has good performance, good bang for your buck. There is a new flanker to this fragrance out, but I don't think it's really worth checking that one out. If you're looking for a Ray and Tradition Aventus clone, this one is gonna be your best bet. Next up, a new Armoff Aventus style fragrance, Bucephalus 11. And this one is the one that I'm actually giving away. Not this bottle, I have one that's still sealed, and that one I'm gonna be giving away. So, if you wanna be entered in that giveaway for the bottle of Bucephalus number 11, just leave a comment below saying that you wanna be entered in the giveaway and let me know which of these alternatives you like the most. A week from today, I'll go ahead and pick a winner using Random Comment Picker. I will post it in the community tab of my YouTube page. So if you're subscribed, you'll be able to see who won. And if you're the winner, just reach out to me and I'll ship you your bottle. And what a bottle it is. Yeah, so it has this cap that is a horse's head, a very angular horse's head. Looks a little bit like the Penhaligon's Portraits Collection fragrance caps, only much cheaper. And then the bottle just looks kind of like, uh, maybe like a gas grenade or something in a first person shooter. It's like you would pull a tab and 
throw it and then a uh, gas would come out and choke everybody out. Bergamot, black currant, pineapple, vanilla, some of the notes in this fragrance. And yes, yes it is an Aventus alternative. So it's almost like their follow up to the original Club de Nuit Intense Man because I believe this came out and then Club de Nuit Intense Man limited edition right after. This one opens up smoother, more citrusy than the original Club de Nuit Intense Man, even a little bit creamy in the top. No smoke here really, it's not that type of Aventus style fragrance. Instead, this one goes vanilla and myrrh, so sweeter, and then a little bit of oak moss and musk in the dry down as well. In terms of ingredient quality, you know, it's tough to really rank them, but maybe Bucephalus number 11, a little bit above original Club de Nuit Intense Man in terms of quality, and then a little bit below the limited edition. Now, I'm not saying that that one, Bucephalus number 11, is definitely gonna be better for you than Club de Nuit Intense Man. But if you're looking for something a little smoother, creamier, and more citric in the opening, that goes with vanilla, myrrh, and uh, kind of more of a, a sweet dry down instead of smoky, woody. Check that one out. And that one is gonna run you about 40 to 50 bucks. Next up, let's talk about this one, Zara Vibrant Leather. Lemon, bergamot, patchouli, and bamboo. Some of the notes in this fragrance. This one's gonna run you about 30 bucks on Zara's website, but as of this video, it's showing sold out. I don't think it's discontinued, as far as I'm aware, but it is showing sold out right now. Uh, if you want this, you could always email Zara, uh, wait just a little bit, see if it comes back in stock. And if you're really impatient, they do have some on eBay, uh, but you're gonna pay a little bit of a premium buying from people off eBay instead of buying directly from Zara. This one is smooth and fruity, a little touch of smoke. The issue that I've had with Vibrant Leather is performance. For me, it is one of the lower performing Aventus style fragrances the projection on it gets soft pretty quickly. It might last on your skin for a little while, but at least for me, the projection has has never really been there for that fragrance. It's one of those ones I have to spray on, you know, eight times. The quality is pretty good though, especially for 30 bucks, and uh, the new presentation on it is nice as well. Now I'm gonna run through a couple more that I gave away, actually gave away to my brother, uh, because he was fans of those fragrances, and they were doing more good for him than me. First one is Afnon Supremacy Silver. So this one is Afnon's Aventus style fragrance, which means it's going right up against the Armaf, the Rayan Tradition, the uh, Latafa Perfumes, the Alharamane, all those guys. Pineapple, birch, black currant, musk, bergamot, the usual suspects there with the Aventus style notes. This one runs you about 30 bucks. It's gonna be a fruitier style. A Ventus fragrance. It's less smoky than Club de Nuit Intense Man, so it's taking a similar kind of approach um, to Laventure by Al Harmain. And it's gonna be about the same in terms of uh, quality. So when you spray that one on up against a lot of these other ones, it's gonna be pretty similar, which makes sense. And that one, Supremacy Silver, does seem to have some inconsistencies with performance. Some people say that it lasts forever, you know, eight hours, nine hours, 10 hours. And a lot of other people will say, uh, last an hour, two hours, three hours. So the bottle that I had, I only gave it a couple of wearings. I seem to recall it being okay. Uh, it wasn't something that blew me away performance wise, but it wasn't something uh, that came across like an immediate skin scent or anything either. And then the last one I wanna talk about is Rassassi Pour Louis Zebra. So there are three Rassassi Pour Louis fragrances and the one that you would be looking for is the one that has a zebra on the bottle. This one's gonna run you about $30 for a 50 ml size bottle on the low end. And more typically it's gonna be 40 to 45 for a 50 ml size bottle, which makes that more expensive than the other ones in this list. Because if you want 100 milliliters of the fragrance, you're looking at, you know, 60 bucks on the low end up to 90 bucks. So at that price for an Aventus style fragrance, getting pretty expensive. It has pineapple, lime, bergamot, lemon, and pear. As some of the notes in the fragrance and that should let you know what style of Aventus type fragrance this one is. Very fruity, fruity, sweet, fresh. So this is going to be the type of Aventus alternative fragrance for you. If you're looking for a very citrus, centric, fresh, fruity take on Aventus, that's going to carry through into the dry down. If you're not really interested in woods, smoke, musk, any of that, you just want a good amount of fruits, probably your best bet of this bunch. 
There's a little bit of cedar in the dry down, a little bit of leather in there as well. But the main thing you're gonna pick up from this is going to be that big citrus combo, melding them with the pineapple. Great projection on that one as well. It's got really nice performance. And that's gonna be the last one for this video for inexpensive Aventus alternatives. And I know it ran really long. I didn't want it to run that long, but all these like little miniature reviews of all these fragrances took up a lot of time. There are of course other alternatives two Aventus out there, like the 15 or 20 or however many at this point, Aventus alternatives, clones, whatever you want to call it, that Parfums Vintage has. They got a lot of them. Actually, I think they just released three more. So, And it seems like there are Aventus style fragrances coming out on a near monthly, if not bi-weekly basis. Um, I know that Alpha M has released Rebel by Pete and Pedro. I actually bought that and uh, did a first impression on it. And that is an Aventus style fragrance. You've got Perry Ellis America that's got some similarities to Aventus. So there's a lot of them still coming out. All right, guys, it's gonna do it for me. Remember, if you wanna be entered in that giveaway, leave that comment below. And uh, as always, thanks for all your support. I'll see you guys tomorrow.